and Marty McDonald. On the start line, the first rider off in this 16 kilometer time trial today, the Tendrick stage of the Over Energy Tour of Britain. Iceberg competition, Graham Briggs leading that. 15 points ahead of Mark McNally and Carol Domagowski. The riders will get the countdown, roll down the start ramp to get their time trial underway. Graham Briggs, the first rider to start here in Clacton this morning. Uh, Brian, it's a good course here. It's a classic distance that we have in uh, Clacton on sea. Yeah, just over 16 kilometres, uh, about uh, approximately 10 miles. And, you know, the course that they head out along the uh, promenade, they swing left and towards town, out the other side of the town, we'll get uh, the half point uh, split after about five miles. Then they, they take a right, come back into town again along King's Parade all the way to the finishing line. The way the wind direction is going, is a little bit of a headwind all the way back in towards the finish, about 18 kilometres an hour. We've seen Graham Briggs, lots of breakaways over the last few days. You could, in essence, almost treat it like a rest day today, but he won't be able to do that. Adam Hartley in the start gate for the Great Britain national team. So the riders are starting early on in the course. One minute. Underway. The uh, fifth rider to start will be Marcin Bierblocki, and he's uh, a rider that many people would uh, tout. Uh, obviously, it's just down to expense for that team. On to the start line. Marcin Bierblocki just uh, checking out the bike, just making sure that he's comfortable. This man, a very, very fast time trialist, is Marcin. He's been the national champion of Poland and he gets his ride underway. This man here could be the early pace setter on stage five of the Over Energy Tour of Britain. Can he take a big stage victory? So it just goes to show you that he's really on song. Former uh, stage winner in the Tour de Poland in the time trial, former national champion and uh, fifth in the World Championship. So this man here in the orange, Marcin Bieblowski, is a, a rider that uh, can challenge for the win today. And in terms of Marcin, the days previous to this, this is his stage. This is what he's been targeting. It's all about the stage win for him. Rob Partridge rolls away for Bike Channel Canyon. We've seen uh, Rob Partridge on the attack. Previous days here in the Over Energy Tour of Britain. The Bike Channel Canyon team are uh, having a good race so far. And uh, Bierblowski here, you can see the, uh, the clock ticking up. So uh, hopefully we'll be able to get intermediate time checks as we go through. Next riders to go, we were expect we'll be expecting Matthew Holmes, then Teo Gagan Hart, Rob Power, another good time trialist, and then Bernard Eisel. 10th rider to start this morning and uh, Martin here is uh, making good uh, work of this uh, course so far. Matthew Holmes of Madison Genesis, one of the most aggressive riders here. He started his ride today. Back with Bierblowski here. Looking good, very, very uh, controlled ride, and like most uh, time trial specialists, he does a huge amount of work to hone this position. Yes, yeah, the same with uh, with anything. Holding that position is uh, naturally uh, relatively uncomfortable, so obviously it's a uh, time on the machine. Many of these riders starting early uh, aren't expected to uh, aren't expected to to do you know thinking of the overall there is uh, one or two riders early starters uh, including uh, Bia Blosky and uh, Teo Gagan Hart uh, he'll be thinking of a, a good time today but uh, many of them have already lost a few minutes already in the general classification Teo Gagan Hart just asking the crowd for a little bit of energy and there you go Teo Gagan Hart from Team Sky rolls down the start ramp to get his ride underway and for Teo he's uh, been a huge workhorse in this race so far Graham Briggs is past the five kilometer point. And 
There's his 10 kilometers to go now for Graham Briggs. So riders uh, that are targeting competitions like Graham as he's been in the breakaways, they can't go too easy in this time trial, can they? I think uh, most riders uh, would be riding about uh, between 80 and 90 percent uh, of their uh, thresholds because obviously there's uh, a time delay as well. Everybody has to try and calculate that. But, uh Time limit. Rob Power, the next man to start for Orica Scott, the 22 year old Australian, gets the countdown and gets his ride underway. Just like Teo Gagan Hart, you've just seen start, been on the front for many kilometers in this year's race, working for Caleb Ewan. And Graham Briggs. Going like a train so far in this race and uh, looking good in that red jersey. And uh, yesterday he lost the lead in the Skoda King of the Mountains to Jacob Scott. But just one point uh, was uh, a good ride to take both jerseys, but probably now easier for him mentally going forward in the race just to target this sprint's jersey. Well, you would think that, but uh, at the end of the day, I think he, he'll try his hand at uh, both competitions. Uh, but, you know, obviously uh, one point down in the Skoda King of the Mountains and one point to the goods in the uh, Eisberg Sprint Stairs competition. Bernard Eisel, the next rider to go for Dimension Data, getting the crowd whipped up for him to get his ride underway. Bernard Eisel is uh, known now as uh, a real uh, super domestique and lead out man, 36 years old, he is from Austria. Blofsky here just uh, rolling through a little downhill on this part of the course. So it's not completely flat by any means. Yeah, it's, uh, it's up and down. There are some. Yeah, it's, uh, it's up and down. There are some twists and turns. Uh, Alex Dowsett uh, talking to him before uh, the uh, race got underway in Glasgow and he told me the, uh, the time trial does suit him, but. Uh, everybody thinks it's uh, pretty much uh, straightforward, but as we can see already, there are some uh, technical elements. So there will be from um, average power uh, to normalised power, there should be a, a bit of a difference because it's very difficult to, to push hard around some of the technical areas of this course. Ian Bibby, the next man to start here for JLT Condor. Bibby gets his ride underway again. The uh, many British riders in this race is uh, putting some outstanding performances in this race so far. If you were with us uh, a couple of days ago, you remember the work that Ian Bibby did for this man to put him into the lead in uh, two competitions. And for Graham Briggs as well here, Brian, the first man to go is probably the hardest one. You've got no one to chase in front of you. Yeah, you have, and uh, this is, uh, you know, what time trials are all about. But uh, Graham Briggs is uh, just interested in uh, getting this time trial out of the way, trying saving a little bit of energy for the next three days. And uh, he, hopefully he could be the uh, first man finished and first man uh, back to his uh, team bus showered and back to his hotel while he can sit back and watch everybody else uh, try and give 100%. Marcin Bebelos gives CCC brandy pop. Bioblowski here, you can see, is uh, just picking off these riders in front of him. This is exactly what we were uh, pointing out, that having that rider in front of you, it acts like a bit of a carrot. You can chase them down, and you just see Bioblowski here just eating up the gap between him and Orlando Garibay. And uh, the difference here as well, the difference in equipment and a time trial specialist. Which well, really no surprise that uh, Bioblowski from CCC in the orange there has uh, caught his uh, minute man, his minute man just riding with some uh, normal bars on his uh, road bike. Uh, so obviously the advantages of having a, a low profile and also the fact that uh, Biablowski is uh, you know, one of the, uh, the world's top time trialists uh, is showing that today. And uh, I think he'll be very difficult to knock off that uh, top step, stop, uh, the, the top step. Uh, Many kilometers in this year's race working for Caleb Ewan. And Graham Briggs going like a train so far in this race and uh, looking good in that red jersey. 
And uh, yesterday, he lost the lead in the Skoda well, uh, King of the Mountains. Super domestique and lead out man, 36 years old. He is from Austria. Uh, the Blofsky here just uh, rolling through. A little downhill on this part of the course. So it's not completely flat by any means. Yeah, it's uh, there it's are some twists and turns. Uh, Alex Dowsett uh, talking to him before. Uh, the uh, race got underway in Glasgow, and he told me the uh, the time trial does suit him, but uh, everybody thinks it's uh, pretty much uh, straightforward. But as we can see already, there are some uh, technical elements, so there will be from um, average power uh, to normalised oh, power, there should be a, a bit of a difference because it's very difficult to, to push hard around some of the technical yeah, yeah, areas of this and, course. Uh, this is, uh, you know, what time trials are all about, but... Uh, Graham Briggs is uh, just interested in uh, getting this time trial out of the way, trying saving a little bit of energy for the next three days, and uh, he, hopefully he could be the uh, first man finished and first man uh, back to his uh, team bus showered and back to his hotel while he can sit back and watch everybody else uh, try and give 100%. Marcin Bebelowski of CCC's Brandy Pay, you can see. Is uh, just picking off these riders in front of him. This is exactly what we were uh, pointing out, that having that rider in front of you, it acts like a bit of a carrot. You can chase them down, and you just see Bierblowski here just eating up the gap between him and Orlando Garibay. And uh, the difference here as well, the difference in equipment and a time trial specialist. Which well, really no surprise that uh, Bierblowski from CCC in the orange there has uh, caught his uh, minute man. He's been a man just riding with um, uh, normal bars on his uh, road bike uh, so obviously the advantages of having a, a low profile and also the fact that uh, Bia Blosky is uh, you know, one of the, uh, the world's top time trialists uh, is showing that today and uh, I think he'll be very difficult to knock off that uh, top step, stop, uh, the, the top step uh, once he gets in that uh, the finishing line Graham Briggs Nikolarski, dzień, zapraszają Państwa. Adam Probosz. I Igor Błachut. Będziemy śledzić etap jazdy indywidualnej na czas wyścigu dookoła Wielkiej Brytanii. Jest to etap Hrabstwie piąty. Hrabstwie Essex. Hrabstwie Essex. Tutaj jest zupełnie płasko i kolarze mają do pokonania w tym płaskim terenie 16 km. Niektórzy już pokonują ten dystans. Pokonuje go między innymi Marcin Białobłocki, którego bardzo byśmy chcieli zobaczyć. To jeszcze... To jeszcze nie jest Marcin, ale... Yy... To jest Graham Briggs. To jest lider klasyfikacji e, sprinterskiej punktowej. Zawodnik, który bardzo aktywnie jedzie w tym wyścigu. No i któremu, jak widzieliśmy na poprzednich etapach, e, towarzyszyła rodzina. I tu mamy zawodnika grupy CCC. Któremu też pewnie towarzyszy rodzina, bo on mieszka przecież w Wielkiej Brytanii, więc Marcin Białobłocki pewnie także na starcie z rodziną. No i liczymy na dobry start Marcina Białobłockiego. Ostatnio ten rekord na mile, który został mu od, odebrany, no ale... E, ustanowił e, ten rekord naprawdę w dobrej formie ostatnio Marcin Białobłocki mówi, że dużo trenował, że była dobra pogoda w Wielkiej Brytanii do tego, żeby trenować i że jest przygotowany do tego wyścigu i powalczy na dzisiejszym etapie no to bardzo na to liczymy do czasu Marcina, właściwie będziemy porównywać wyniki bo e, no po nim e, no myślę, że tutaj kolarz na którego liczą Brytyjczycy e, troszkę czasu, bo o 14.26 będzie ruszał Michał na trasę no Michał to raz, ale Marcin Białobocki, o którym zaczęliśmy mówić, no bo pokazywał go nam realizator, to też jest jeden z tych zawodników, którzy powinni dzisiaj uplasować się wysoko, ale... Liczymy dziś na dobrą jazdę naszych zawodników, no i na ich rywalizację z tymi, którzy będą walczyć w klasyfikacji generalnej, bo Marcin Białobocki, nawet jeśli pojechałby dziś rewelacyjnie, no to jednak on traci ponad 15 minut w klasyfikacji generalnej i to się nie przełoży na wysokie miejsce, ale wygrany etap to też gratka. I na pewno będzie o to y, reprezentant Polski walczył. Graham Briggs jako pierwszy 21-21. No myślę, że 20, może, może około 20 to będzie ten czas, który, który będzie dawał y, y, zwycięstwo, 20 minut. Tak nie, 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 to miał czas tutaj, żeby spokojnie paluszkiem Tak, jeszcze on na, zatrzymać kolejne, na kolejne etapy czeka. Myślę, że tam zobaczymy go w walce. No a teraz patrzymy na Marcina Białobłockiego. Marcin ruszył na trasę jako no, dopędza, piąty zawodnik. Tak. Dopędza rywala, który startował przed nim, więc biorąc pod uwagę, że ten interwał jest dosyć wyraźny, startowy, no to, no to dobrze jedzie. 
No tak, na 16 km to zrobić minutę na to, to jest, najlepszego czasowca. To jest, to jest coś. sporo, tak. tak. Marcin y, dogania teraz y, no. kolarza z Meksyku, Orlando Garibaya. No przede wszystkim dogania motocykl, który mu tutaj troszeczkę, troszeczkę pomógł, ale już Meksykanina ma na, na widelcu właściwie. To jest kolarz ekipy Silence Pro Cycling. Mm -hmm. Jest ostatni kilometr, jest 19 minuta, kończy się w tym momencie czasu reprezentanta Polski. Nie, to jest jeszcze, to jest ten, który startował dwie minuty, dwie minuty przed wcześniej. Marcinem. To jest Chris Opie. No proszę. proszę. Znakomicie. Chris Opie doścignięty, kolarz Bike Channel Canyon. Widzieliśmy jak Marcin przeskakuje tutaj z prawej na lewą. No, na lewej wydaje się była trochę lepsza nawierzchnia i przede wszystkim osłonięty był od podmuchów wiatru z nadwybrzeża. No, to jest bardzo dobra wiadomość, że Marcin wyprzedza kolarze na trasie. Widać, że jest bardzo skoncentrowany. Ta typowa pozycja czasowa, widać, że nieruchoma góra bardzo ładnie. Taki mocno pracujący nogi równo. 19.30. No proszę. No proszę. No, to jest kapitalny czas. Widocznie w drugą stronę jest troszkę lepiej z wiatrem chyba. 19.34. Tak, zapisujemy czas Marcina Białobłockiego. No i do niego teraz będziemy porównywać kolejne rezultaty. Wiemy, że Tio Geigenhardt był najszybszy na półmetku, no ale zobaczymy jak rozłożył siły Brytyjczyk z ekipy Sky w drugiej części. No ale dobra, bardzo dobra jazda Marcina Białobłockiego. Zobaczymy, jak to się przełoży. Przypomnijmy, on startował jako piąty, a więc jeszcze bardzo wielu kolarzy przed nami. W sumie 114 na liście startowej dzisiejszej czasówki.